Hello besties. You might be wondering why the title of the video is whack. Very good question. I actually had a whole other video planned today and it was gonna be the first episode of a series I'm starting called Urban Falah that I do with my friend Leith where we kind of create Mediterranean Middle Eastern dishes in our own unique ways. And it's been flopping. It's been flopping so hard that my computer just like physically, emotionally, mentally cut it, quit. It, it cannot. I can't either, to be honest. I can't. There's so much footage from that shoot that... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So instead, last minute, a day before I'm meant to upload, I was like, you know what? We're gonna do a kitchen tier list thing video. And yes, we. this is the bottom of the bucket. We are getting our 50 videos published, uploaded to YouTube in 2022. Like, there is no room for failure this year. We're getting to 50 videos. Like, there's just no, there's no arguing about it. But sometimes we're gonna have to suffice for videos like this, where I don't even know what I look like, guys. Just, just ignore. Just, I've had it. I've, I'm also inspired by the YouTube channel Mike's Mike. I am Gemma Collins, former Taui star, best known for too much bronzer. Like he does a lot of these or he did a lot of these tier listing videos. I don't know if he does them anymore now, but they're really funny and you should go check them out. Here's something, just click it, okay? Let's go through each of the tiers because I think they're kind of funny. Look, also I'm drinking out of this, like, this is what I'm drinking out of. It's water, don't worry. So the ranks are worth a food YouTuber series alone. And I'm talking, I'm talking Alex the French cooking guy, the cream of the crop. He makes a whole series about pasta. I'm talking Doobie Doo Bop. I'm obsessed with her, I love her by the way. I'm talking Joshua Wiseman. What's that other guy? Ethan Chlebowski. I'm talking them, right? The whole video would just be dedicated to this utensil. That's the tier, that's like... Next up we have Iconic Over Delivers. Now these are items that I feel like simply are iconic, like they are over delivering, like they are doing more than what you ask for and they're making your life easy. In the middle here we have, it do in fact be doing. Wow. What that means is that it's just, it does the job, like it does the trick. And it's cause it do in fact be doing, like these are for the utensils that, they're just doing the job. Whatever they signed up for, they completed, not more, not less. As we approach the bottom of this, pit of hell, we have flop, just flopping. And then we have rage is the last tier. And I just feel like rage really sums up how this video idea came about because I've had a couple you can I've had a couple kitchen utensil items. I was like, you don't be rude. Are you I just can't do it. When you use these items, you just want to break them. You want to leave the kitchen. It will stop you from cooking. Let's just get into it. First up we have ice cube trays. I feel like this do in fact be doing. I think depending on the ice cube tray, it can be flop. Those ice cube trays where the ice cubes just refuse to come out. And I think running it underwater is just an extra step that we shouldn't take in 2022. And I don't think it over delivers because what are you giving that's not ice, period. Next up we have ladle. I feel like it just do in fact be doing. Imagine all of these end up in do in fact be doing. Butter knife. Okay, butter knives are flopping. The reason it's flopping is because I wouldn't use a butter knife to cut, minus one point. Another minus point is if your butter is cold from the fridge, that butter knife is not doing it for you either. You know what I'm saying? Like you have more luck just grabbing the piece of butter and rubbing it against the toast instead of using that because it's just gonna pierce a hole if your butter is cold and your bread that you just like spent time toasting. Then we have a food scale. I honestly think a food scale over delivers simply because like if you ever need to bake something and you're just not sure about like measurements or if baking intimidates you at all, you're always worried about the end result not coming out the way you were expecting, get a freaking food scale because a lot of the recipes will also have like grams and hopefully you're using the metric system and you can just follow them. It'll give you more of a true result than you were expecting if you just used a cup. Like what the hell's a cup? What if you have to put like a cup of flour? Like is that like dense? Is that loose? Is that like topped up? But when someone just says like 200 grams, you're like, oh, okay. I can just measure that exactly. No questions asked, no hands get raised. Hand lemon squeezer. I don't know what this is called actually, but you put like the little lemon in the little crevice, upside down actually, a lot of people put it in wrong. I was one of them, so no judgments. But essentially you just put a lemon in it and you squeeze the lemon out. I feel like it just, it's like kind of floppy. Only because I hate cleaning it and I just feel like, why do you exist if I can just use my hands? And I know like the seeds are annoying, but I don't know. I feel like it's just as annoying to clean it. So she's kind of flopping for me. Britta, Miss Britta. Hi, my name is Britta. 100% I'm entering this competition to win. Uh, there's no other way. I'm thinking for Miss Britta, it do in fact be doing. 
I also feel like it's annoying. I don't know, we're just gonna keep it there. Instant pot, flop, why? And I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate and you can attack me, just feel free, feel free. Just leave me a hate comment. But I just feel like an instant pot, what are you waiting for? Eight hours, bitch, just go home and cook the food. Also like, is it that hard to just like stand by and watch something happen on your stove top? It doesn't even have pressure cooking, so I can't even do it fast. I also feel like the reason I have so much hate for it is because it just takes up so much space and I just don't get it. Guys, we have our first rage item. This. First of all, I had to like dig deep on the internet to find this because it's like not... When you search up like garlic crusher, this isn't the first thing that comes up, but I had to find this type of garlic crusher specifically because my friend bought one and she was kind of like obsessed with it and she would use it to crush her garlic and I just thought it was like, it just made me so angry. Like it doesn't even perfectly like crush the garlic. Why am I punching the kitchen countertop just to get garlic? It's just unnecessary rage. It doesn't even do a good job like getting the garlic, like mincing it or like crushing it. It's flopping. Obviously, espresso machine worth a whole YouTube series alone. James Hoffman has like multiple YouTube videos about espresso machines. I would love an espresso machine. I do not have an espresso. I use a mocha pot, which honestly is also worth a food YouTuber series alone. Actually, no, we're putting it to over delivers. And here's why. I think in the world of espresso, the cream of the crop, like the top tier is an espresso machine. So why would I put mocha pot next to royalty? So that doesn't make sense, but she does over deliver because I love my little Bialetti mocha pot situation. It just doesn't give me the same results as an espresso machine. And I also don't have a thousand dollars to spend on an espresso machine. So if you want to sponsor this video, me and my 42 subscribers with an espresso machine, I'd be very grateful. Okay, air fryer. I used to not like air fryers, but I feel like unlike the slow cooker, she's kind of iconic. Like what she'd be doing with so little oil, I think she wins. I think she she over delivers. She under promised and she over delivered for me. And I think that's why she's iconic. <laughs> these like double paned vacuum glasses. Like my dad is obsessed with these. And growing up when I didn't drink coffee or any like fancy beverage, like I didn't understand what the point was, but bitch, when I visit, I only drink out of these. Like, don't even serve me, don't even give me water if it's not in one of these, period. Next up, we have oven mitt. I don't know why I put this. Like, it do in fact be doing, like, period. Chopping block, rage. I have a chopping block. I got one because I was like, oh, why buy plastic cutting boards? Why buy, like, these small, like, wooden cutting boards? They don't even fit anything. Let me get a chopping block. Tell me why it's impossible to clean. Tell me why every time I have to clean it, I am just like, wiping it down or like trying to like move it to the sink and it doesn't fit into the sink and then the soap and the water is splashing everywhere like it's just not doing it for me i think the problem or like where the rage is coming from is i just don't know how to clean it espatula um it do in fact be doing i don't know why i put some like such obvious thingies chopsticks period period worth of food youtuber series alone like for all the chopstick aunties just feel free to unsubscribe feel free to block me in fact, if I haven't blocked you first, because chopsticks are just like wondrous. I think once you get past the stage of using them for sushi, you realize you can actually use them for like literally everything and anything. And I mean that, like you frying food, use a chopping stick to flip it in the oil. You're making dough, you don't have a whisk, use the chopping sticks to whisk the dough. You get the point. You can literally pick up anything. It's like an extended arm without your fingers or your hands getting dirty or hurt. Like it's just genius. Panini press iconic over delivers i don't know she is clunky she is annoying she's actually hard to clean but you can't beat a good panini you sometimes you just can't beat a good panini fork i think they over deliver and here's why forks over deliver when have you not used a fork to cut something up as well as pick it up and eat it duality it's giving butter knife what is butter knife giving nothing spoons on the other hand they are over delivering but they're also kind of just the shape is weird because they can cut, but they're just annoying. I don't know. Spoon is annoying and I think it's because they know they're good. And so maybe because they they know they're good, they think they can like slack off during the process of like food ingestion or cooking and they kind of like lose their over delivering status. No further questions. Mortal and pestle. E D T. Penguin. I'm just gonna put this on Iconic because I don't have one and I want to have one. Um, pressure cooker worth a food YouTuber series alone. Now, don't get, don't get this twisted. Pressure cookers intimidate the fuck out of me because I keep hearing stories about it blowing up. And so, and it's also screaming. Why is my pot screaming as it's cooking? However, the results, I think, overcompensate for its intimidation and potential like explos explosiveness. Yeah, and I, I, I would watch a whole like 
food science YouTube series on like pressure cookers. Rice cookers, I don't have one. They're iconic, I don't have one. I just put them in iconic because everyone says they're iconic. Microwave, rage. A bit of milk, full fat, which I've warmed in the microwave. Guys, I don't know what it is. Like, I think I had like a conniption one night because I moved into this apartment where my microwave doesn't stop beeping. Even when you open it, even if you could stop, even if your food is hot, no matter what, it just won't stop beating, beeping to the point that I've looked this up online to find out if there was a setting. There is no setting, but I did find a humongous community of people who also hate my particular microwave because it won't stop beeping to the point that there's like so many YouTube tutorials on how to snip the wires that create the beep but keep the microwave functioning. Th that's how infuriating my microwave is. Also like what, if you wanted to defrost something, the microwave is partially gonna cook it, partially gonna burn your hand and partially ruin the thing that you're trying to defrost. And in terms of like reheating food, just use a freaking stovetop. I just, I can't. Also the radiation, I don't know if there's radiation actually, but I just feel like she's trying to kill me. Toaster is a flop. This is controversial, I know. I've recently also famously and not fam so famously got a toaster because I was kind of like bullied into the domestication and getting a toaster because I eat a lot of bread. I have bread like probably once or twice a day. No, more like once a day. And I used to always toast it in the oven or on like a stove top. And then I realized how much energy was being wasted in that process. And so I was kind of bullied into getting a toaster, but I just feel like what I had was working before. It was just inefficient, but it was still working. So why did I have to buy a whole other product? It's the capitalism for me. Whisk. Honestly, she'd just be doing the job. Honestly, these like box graters are kind of iconic. I only use like ever like two sides, but I don't know. I feel like that grants you iconic status. Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. They're just doing their job because you know the handheld graters or like the microplanes that you just like would grate on top of food I think those are iconic. Yeah, Nespresso machine First of all, why are you inconsistent bitch? Why can't you be transparent and Why can't you have a white background and not transparent like all the other girls? For that reason flop. I think Nespresso machines are flop because even though they taste good It's not giving me espresso and also why are you so expensive? Also, why is your like e-commerce platform so inaccessible? And why is it so hard to get an espresso pods? And also, why aren't you allowing for interchangeability? Flop. Straws. Don't ask questions. Spatula. I don't know if a spatula is worth a YouTube. Actually, she's not. She's just iconic. Pan, like a nonstick, is worth a food YouTuber series alone. And I've seen YouTube videos about nonstick pans, and they're excellent. Something I learned over the last two years was like learning about the appropriate pan to use for like the type of meal you're creating is actually really important. For example, I used to always cook my eggs on like a really like a steel pan and it was just inefficient It's possible, but it just like takes so much oil and I, I wasn't getting the result I was like used to and then I got a nonstick and I think that changed my world and so period Oven it does the job I guess chopping board Cleaning these bitches flop a fridge. Why do I have such basic items? What was I thinking actually a fridge is kind of flopping and I think this is just a personal thing because I have gotten really, no, I haven't gotten really good at this, but I've gotten a lot better at doing my dishes, okay? No judgments. However, I've not gotten that good at noticing when something has gone off in the fridge and having to throw it out. And for that reason, it stresses me out, so I flopped it. Blender, why are you so noisy? Flop. Unless you're a high speed one, but even then, like, this is the cleanup required? No. It's borderline rage, actually. French press. She is giving us coffee, so I can't get mad. Steel pan, I think she's flopping. Just from the sheer amount of oil she requires to not burn shit. I know I'm gonna get roasted and toasted by professional chefs, but I don't care. As Mike Mike says, argue with the wall. A knife is worth a YouTuber series alone, and I'm pretty sure Alex the French cooking guy or like somebody has made a series about knives and like they're excellent. Garlic crusher, it does in fact crush garlic. The rumors are true. And then Tupperwares. I think Tupperwares are flopping. Deli containers on the other hand, Iconic over delivering because of stackability consistency of the lids and the transparency Yeah, these are all the kitchen utensils. I have as you can see this is the tier list feel free to disagree in the comments Feel free to agree in the comment if you enjoy this type of video Give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and a like perhaps regular programming that is not like this will continue next week Hopefully if Final Cut Pro agrees with me. That's all